only thing worse in life than an FTK is my hairline. Today's video is going to be about Draco Slayer FTK. Now, I know I said the Draco Slayer playmats out of stock, but for today's video, man! Someone that's like completely sober at like 9 a.m. in the morning, I have way too much energy right now. Anyways, one day only, Draco Slayer FTK, Draco Slayer playmat is back. So get yours while you can. They sold out in fucking four hours. So they're back for one day. That's for today. Draco Slayer video. I had to. Draco Slayer video. Anyways, after you get your playmat, it'll be the first link in the description. Go down below. First link in the description. First top comment. Da 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 da. Get it? And now, after that, I can show you guys right now the best Draco Slayer FTK in the game. And the best FTK in the game. Let's go. This is gonna be broken. This is this is gonna look at this. Look at this. This is gonna be broken. It, it's not even like uh five negate something look at this two card combo two card combo and a random card to discard for your majesty a two card combo you guys want to know other two card combos in Yu-Gi-Oh right now uh, let me tell you two card combo in Yu-Gi-Oh right now what's the best deck sprite best deck sprite best deck yeah two card combo ends on fucking gigantic sprite and fucking sprite sprint shit deck bro S shit deck let's go let's go unless you play sprite in this deck because form out of synchron level two just saying all right, so you end up. This is, looks very normal. Do you guys see any bricks? No. What? What FTK? That's a two card combo starter. That's this pure. Have you have you ever seen your like? It's so beautiful. So what you're gonna do at this point, okay? What we're going to we're gonna put those zones. We're gonna make Ignister. So far so good, right? We're gonna go Ignister. Bring out Majesty Greatness. Send desires. Now this is what we're gonna do. Instead of making another Ignister to keep looping the Ignister to go Draco Star combos. We are going to summon Geomathmech Magma. So after you summon Geomathmech uh, Magma, you are then going to use this to summon that out and bring Gallant Granite. Now, there's only one brick, per se, in the deck, but it's not a brick. It's actually a very good card to, to see. And that is none other than Admancipator Researcher. And we're then going to make Genator Transversor. Genator Transversor with these two, because that this card is a Synchro Tuner. Now, I know people have seen this combo, this card before, but in every deck that plays this card, they have to play Bricks, they have to play non random nonsense garbage. The only decks that can take advantage of this, of this FTK and make it like it's nothing, it's just a free FTK. Like, like you're not actually playing Bricks. All it takes up is a few slots on the extra deck, which is nothing, this deck, deck, deck has space, and one Advanced Spider Researcher. It's a, like, this, these type of FTKs, it's like the Pendulum FTK of before. You don't need to focus the whole deck on the FTK. But if you're going first, and your opponent didn't Nibiru you after your pen summon, they didn't hand shop your behind the pendulum, they didn't hand shop your Ignister, they don't fucking have hand traps, you know what I'm saying? So when you get to that point, why put up a board that can get Dark Lord or Super Poly when you can just kill them? Like, this is especially good for new players. Because I suggest all new players, play FTKs. Because who cares what your opponent's deck does? You don't have to read shit. The only thing you have to know is how to watch my Triff Gaming videos. And then you need to learn how to do these FT all these FTKs. And that's all you gotta do. Because you just do it to yourself. Fuck what your opponent's cards do. For all you care about, they can all be Spanish. And there's gonna be Spanish class. And just like your friend Triff, you could fail it. You don't need to know what they do. You don't need to read. All you need to do is read your own card. Which you probably still don't need to do. All you need to know how to do is count to eight. Shit. You don't even need to do that. Four plus four equals eight. That's all you gotta do. So we can't remove one of those things. It has to be a thing over there. So the token uh, has to be one different. And then we're gonna go into these. Someone's cutting their grass while I'm making a video? But don't, don't you have work? Don't I have work? Anyways, and this right here is, at the end of the day, use the fact of Karnali Mac Mac, burn for 8,000 damage. The only, there's no bricks. Like, it's just the one Advanced Beta Researcher, which is really not a bad card at all. It's a tuner, bro. It's a tuner. It's really not a bad card to see. And the cards that you utilize in the extra deck are one, two, three, four, five. Five cards that are cards you don't really need typically, but they also have value in its own with the other cards that you play. So it, it's totally worth because the extra deck actually has plenty of space. So now I'm going to show you guys the deck list. And this is the deck list. So as I mentioned, if you remember how the old Draco Slayer videos look like, how the old Draco Slayer deck list look like, it's very similar to this. It's literally just one Advanced Spider Researcher. 
Like, it doesn't matter. It's still extremely, extremely consistent. This one research doesn't do jack shit. It, it literally just doesn't matter. So, uh, that doesn't even count as playing any bricks. You're truly playing zero bricks. And, uh, cool thing as well, now if you look at the extra deck, it plays the cards that you really need. Like, you need the Ignister, you need the Dynaster. You just loop this Ignister infinity times with Revolution Dragons. So, realistically, you only actually just need the one. You only actually just need the one Magister and the one Dynaster. You only really need the one Dweller just in case FTK fails. So, you just have a Dweller anyways. And then look at the links. Apoloza, uh, Selene, and Beyond. And then if you look at the other links that you play for the FTK, like, Generator Transverse is just in general a good link. It's just in general a good interruption. Uh, Puzzleissimo is just in general a good link that works in conjunction with Dweller. So for those who don't know what this card does, it basically makes any monster any level you want. So if you, you can make Babuku any level, you can make uh, whatever any level. So in this scenario, it just makes it so you go Dweller very easy. Uh, these cards are fine, dude. Like, like they're really not that bad, uh, bricks-wise. Like it, it, and the bricks are in the extra deck, not the main deck. That's what really puts this apart. You're still able to play Draco Slayers as if there was no FTK, as if it's just normal Draco Slayers. Like the, you, people wouldn't even know if you're playing a Draco Slayer FTK extra deck versus a normal Draco Slayer deck if you were to play like a Draco Slayer combo, because this deck does everything Draco Slayer normally does, regardless. But it's just a built-in FTK with one like brick per se, but it's not even just one card. Who cares? So if you were able to have one card in your deck, think of everyone that plays Smashers. People play Smashers. That's a brick. I don't want to fucking see Smashers. I don't want to see Draco back. Well, people play Draco back. There's only one brick in this deck. It's just one advanced researcher. So if you were able, uh, ask yourself a question, whatever deck you currently play, if you were able to just throw in one card which enabled your deck to FDK at any moment, and your deck is one of those decks that once you pass a certain point, if your opponent didn't hand trap you yet, you just fucking know they don't have a hand trap. It's like gigant gigantic sprite effect. Sure. Okay, okay, bro. You, you don't fucking have Valor. You don't have, you don't have Ash. Your Nibiru is fucking dead. This is the same idea with this. After you Pendulum Summon, with Beyond the Pendulum out there, if Nibiru is not dropped, there's no Nibiru. If they didn't Valor the Beyond the Pendulum or the first Ignister or Impermit or Ashen, they don't have those either. GG, bro. <laughs> GG, that's all I'm saying. And does that. That's it. If you guys got this far, why don't you guys smash the subscribe button? Why don't you guys smash the like button? And I want you guys also to check out the beautiful playmat down below. Draco Slayer playmat, one day only. Get yours right now in honor of the Draco FTK. Let's go. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.